What if I told you a doctor decided to put on a disguise in a plot to poison his partner's mother? Put it a full mask. Now, that is not the disguise. I'm going to show you the disguise in just a moment. Um, as a matter of fact, just go to the disguise now. We'll just, and go back to the doctor. Go to the disguise. Back to the doctor. Let me explain what happened. Thomas Kwan, a British doctor, has admitted to attempting to kill his mother's partner with a fake COVID-19 shot. His murder plot involved using a fake COVID-19 vaccine, which involved him forging medical documents and dressing in disguise to inject the victim with actual poison. Thomas Kwan, 53, passed himself off as a nurse and even took his own mother's blood pressure before administering poison to her partner, Patrick O'Hara in Newcastle, North England. The photo of Thomas Kwan wearing a disguise was found on his computer and had been used to make a fake ID card. In the disguise, Vaughn wears a hat, a mustache, a beard, and appears to have made himself look black. Okay, he wanted to darken the skin a bit there. O'Hara survived, but did suffer. Necrotizing fasciitis, fasciitis, I have this pronounced, a potentially fatal flesh eating bacterial infection, very painful after receiving the shot. Prosecutors said Quan, a family doctor, pleaded guilty to attempted murder. This happened Monday, shortly after the trial began. Uh, he decided to forego that. Crown Court last week, the court staff said he had previously admitted the charge of administering the actual substance. Prosecutor Peter uh, make, make a piece told jurors on the first day of the trial. On Thursday, quote, sometimes, occasionally, perhaps the truth really is stranger than fiction. He said Quan was concerned about his mother's will, which provided that her house would be inherited by O'Hara, who, if he was still alive when his mother died, Mr. Quan used his encyclopedia, uh, encyclopedic knowledge of and researching two poisons to carry out his plan. Their plan was to disguise himself as a community nurse, attend Mr. O'Hara's address, the home he shared with the defendant's mother, and inject him with a dangerous poison under the pretext of administering a COVID booster shot uh, injection, which they assumed was necessary. Quan checked into a hotel under a false name, used a false, used false number plates in his car and disguise himself with a wig to carry out the plan, he added. Uh, put up the disguise again. Wow. Um, I'm glad that the person who was the victim survived. You got to think about the dedication of this doctor. This doctor, where did he get that outfit from? Where did he get that disguise from? Okay. That tan may be authentic. He may have went and actually got a, a tan. Fake license plates? Fake ID? Forging medical documents just to get the pass to be able to do this. How? And the only way they actually put this together is in their investigation, they found that the person, because they were looking for the person who did it. They made the one-two combination. They already knew, all right, this is connected to this person. So you got to find this person. Uh, do you have any idea who this could be? Doctor says, I have no idea. I'm, I'm a doctor. I'm outraged. And then they look at his computer Boom, there's the person on his computer, it's him. Michael, 
like the prosecutor said, the truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it is stranger. I'm glad this man survived. Um, you, w he is um, also culpable for having allowed someone dressed like that to give him. <laughs> My God, that's wrong, man. <laughs> he didn't know, man. <laughs> but but all that being said, yeah, I mean, again, like this is a lavish, and uh, it, it, we we've all got to be grateful that this guy survived this because. Yeah. It, these kind of lavish plans. This is as premeditated as murder could be. It's an open and shut case if they have, you know, all this evidence that it seems that make peace, by the way, which is a great name for a prosecutor. Yeah. Uh, make peace has all this, then, then um, you know, all the power to him. It's a, a fascinating story of the lengths that people will go to uh, to do these horrible things, and hopefully, it doesn't prevent people from getting a vaccine that has saved many, many lives. Well, I, I think he knew somebody would question his attire. That's why he got a fake ID and fake yeah. license tags. And, yeah. you know, anyway, um, <laughs> horrible person to do something like that.